Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a preview of the new Office 365 Admin Center. It's not yet active and available today, but there's a great preview that steps you through what's available and what's coming soon. So I've signed into my Outlook on the web here, and I'm going to click here on the left hand side and go to Admin. Now once I'm here, I'm greeted with this message here that's letting me know it's currently a preview of what they're showing here now, but I can also switch back to the original console if that's what I'm more comfortable with to use for now. They also provide a quick tour that steps you through ideas of where to locate things, but I'll be able to provide that for you today. So here's the main dashboard you're taken to when you first log in, and basically these boxes here are pulled from this menu option over here. So basically these boxes pull from these options here, but they provide a quick snapshot of what you might want to access quicker and straight from your home page. What's new will pull new information available that happened the last since the last time you logged in. Users, oftentimes as an IT admin, you the first thing you do is reset a password when you log into an admin center and that button is made available quick and easy right here. You can also have quick access to billing to see what licenses are due, what's um, already paid, and also view the current bill. You have quick access to service health in case something is going wrong, or in the more hopeful chance that all services are up to date. The message center just pulls messages um, straight from the message center that have come in recently. Here's an option to watch videos on Office 365. And then here's a snapshot of reports you might be running. Now I've expanded this menu here on the left. And if I want to pin it to make it stay, I'll just click the pin. Now this looks a little similar to what the admin console was before. But to give you a preview of what's new, I'll give you, give you a quick rundown of that. So here within users menu, you have the option to see all active users, where you can add new users. You can view deleted users. And you also have the option for email migration. Under groups, you have the option to add groups. And a new feature that's kind of coming into play with this new admin console is Office 365 is going to provide more contextual clues on what's what in the admin console. It can be confusing at times, and instead of going to a new tab on your browser to look it up, they're going to provide new context clues like if we were to add a new group and I'm hovering over these options, they give me a brief summary of what it means. There's also this resource menu here where I can edit rooms and equipment and the access my users have to it, and also manage the SharePoint sites I have within my Office 365 account. Under the billing menu, I can access subscriptions and actually switch the plan straight from here if I needed to. I've got a quick access to support as well as settings, and then also new in the admin console is reports. So there's going to be some new reporting features coming out uh, that I've mentioned in the body of this article. And also neat about this is I have admin center access straight from my home page um, where I can quickly access the admin centers for Exchange, Skype for Business, SharePoint, Yammer, Compliance, and Azure AD. Thanks for joining us today for this quick preview of the new Office 365 Admin Console.